talk about, about that, that and about when, when to praise, praise and how to praise. And, and of course, the very last line of the very last psalm, Psalm 150, tells you who should praise. And you remember, let everyone who has breath praise the Lord. One, two, three, four. You can tell, tell Mario's, Mario's doing the doing announcements, the announcements this, this morning. morning so, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, folks, folks as you, as you came, came in this morning, this morning uh, uh, you were handed a, a program, program of information, of information a Vines Christian, Christian Fellowship. Fellowship. If you can go ahead and open, open that, that with me, me. there's, there's some, just some stuff I want to run through uh, with, uh, with that. that and uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, up there on the top right or top left. You got the first time visitors and also prayer cards. Folks, it's very important that we get our prayers lifted up. We don't, we have, don't to have to pray, pray alone. alone. We, have we have prayer warriors, warriors here, here, and we have, we have people, people that can that pray, pray with us, us all, about all about lifting up your, your prayers, prayers to God. And also, and also praise, praise reports. So go ahead, go ahead fill them out, out, drop them in, in the purple, purple bucket, bucket, and we'll, and be, we'll good be good to go. Good to go. Also, if also, you're a first-time first time visitor, visitor here, we just want to maybe give you a shout this week. It's a little bit, know a little bit more about you and let you know about what we're about. Because you're probably going, what? What? Is a church and a winery? What is that all about? But anyways, and then on... I'd also, I'd also like, like to say up on the right hand side, Pie and Pray Sunday. Sunday. We, we did this last, last year, and what a blessing it was. It was. Uh, uh, we, got we got to thank, thank the Lord. We got to give him praise. Those, Those that wanted to speak could speak and just uh, uh, what it's it about. Everybody, everybody just brings, brings a dessert. dessert. Um, um, so, so, oh, a pie, oh, pie, I'm sorry. A pie, not a dessert. You're right, yeah. Everybody just because it's pie and praise, not dessert and praise. So everybody, everybody brings, brings a, pie a pie, and we'll just, you know, it's, it's very, very, you can get up there in the message and get your pie, pie. but I kind of like it, because I always eat my dessert first before dinner, because usually I'm too full to eat dessert at the end. end. Um, um, 
that, With that also, also Decem December, I'm looking I'm ahead, ahead, December 10th, 10th that is December 8th. 8th. That should be that December 8th, 8th. Pure, Pure Flix movie, movie night, 6 o'clock, uh, and, uh, and again at the Bowers. We saw an awesome, awesome movie last week. week. It, was, it was I Am Not Ashamed. It was about Rachel Joy, the first, one of the first people that got shot at Columbine, a girl that takes her life. Really good insight, really awesome story. And it, and it makes, it you, makes think you think uh, about, about, um, about, about our own walk, walk with, the Lord. with the Lord. And last, and last but not but least, least um, um, folks, I know the holiday, the holiday season's coming up, coming up and, and I spent, I spent this, this past week just pulling, pulling my hair out, figuring, figuring this out. This out. Uh, uh, we, were we were signed up, up on, on uh, smile.amazon.com. Uh, as, a uh, as a supporting uh, 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 entity. entity. In other words, what you do is you, when you buy on Amazon, Amazon will donate a portion of that price to uh, an, uh, organization. an organization. Well, we were, we were on, on there, Vines Christian Fellowship. Fellowship. We, never we never even remembered, remembered signing, signing up. We never, never remembered remember doing anything. anything. But, but what they, they do is they use a, a, a national, national database, database, and we were on there. On there. <coughs> the good the thing good I'm thing here to tell you about is it, is it costs, costs us nothing. Us nothing. It's, just it's just a donation, a donation from, from Amazon. Amazon. So, so if we're buying on Amazon, folks, we'd like to just give you a little bit of... Uh, directions, directions on how, how to do, do that and that just ask for your support during the holiday, holiday season because I know it's no it's longer no about buying in a, in a, brick, in a brick and mortar and wrapping, and wrapping, wrapping it. it. It's, it's all all about, now all about sending it via, sending it via Amazon, Amazon with a gift with card. Gift card. Um, um, so, so it's just, just smile.amazon.com. Smile I have a little four-slide tutorial. If you have any questions, come up and ask. It's so easy that even I can do it. So that... It was a piece, a piece of, cake. of cake. And I also, and I also talked to Mickey. Mickey's, Mickey's, Mickey's up on it. On it. And, and um, I want to thank, thank Sherry for, for, for at least letting, letting us know about it. About it. We didn't know that we were already signed up, up but then I found out after, after talking we are. So, so again, again, just asking just um, if you if shop, shop Amazon, Amazon, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Or if there's another organization on your heart that you want to do, that's fine too, folks. We just want to get out there and support organizations, charitable organizations that are near and dear to our heart. Um... And again, and again, if you have, if you have any, any questions, questions about it, about it just, just not, uh, hit me uh, up hit in me the up back. In the I got back. five I got little, little uh, printouts, printouts that have, that have the, uh, the uh, easy, easy instructions. instructions. If, if, uh, if you want to talk you want to talk me about, about it, it, I'll be in the back. And without that, without any further ado. All right, all right.
Praise God. Good morning, morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? doing? Uh, Just, Uh, just, oh, see, I like that. that. So I don't have to scold you guys and you guys do it again. But I'm going to do it again anyway. How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah. You know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, just because I, like, I like love sharing things that happen right before I get up here. I did turn around at a couple of different people. I'm just like, Hold on, am I up next? next? How many songs do we do? Two, two or, three? or three? And I and should I know by now. now. Um, and, my and my excuse is that, is that I just get so engulfed in worship that I don't count how many songs we do to praise God. God. Um, but, but I probably should have been counting how many songs we did before we praise, praise God. God. So, so I didn't miss coming up here and sharing just an important message. I'm super excited to see everybody here. I'm going to ask everybody here because you guys are all smart, capable beings. We are going to multitask this morning because we have a bunch to go through. And as you guys know, I love being loquacious. I love talking. And, uh, and uh, if you've already, if you've already checked, checked out your sheet, your sheet and, and saw, saw that you guys have been writing a dissertation this morning, this morning. Um, um, I, apologize, I apologize, but I really don't care because it's the message that God, God put on my heart, heart that I want to pass along, along to you. So, so as, I as I usually, usually say, say uh, I don't know what it is that God brought you here for, but I promised it wasn't an accident. It wasn't just a fun coincidence. He wasn't just up there and he's like, oh shoot, my bad. Well, we'll figure something out together. God brought you here for a very, very intentional purpose. And what it is, I don't know, whether it's through my words, whether it's through worship, or whether he just taps you on the shoulder and he says, hey, you know what, I know Ryan's talking, but... Okay, okay, he can go on, can go on forever. forever. Let's, Let's talk, talk for a minute. For a minute. God, wants God wants to say, wants something, to say something to you. To you. So my so prayer and my, my hope this morning is just that you open, open your eyes, ears, ears and hearts, hearts to him. To not him. to me. Not to me. Not to the not people up here singing, singing, but to whatever, whatever it is that his spirit, spirit wants to say to you, because I promise that it is speaking, and all we need to do is just be in tune, and we will we hear, and be, and be able to go out and do what God wants. So that multitasking thing is twofold. One, the very first fill in the blank. It's actually not a fill in the blank, but it's just it's your own personal answer. So there's no right or wrong. Well, I say well, that, I say but that, I'm going to tell you why. Whatever you put down is probably wrong. wrong. Um, um, but, but it says, uh, think, uh, of, think one of one great thing that happened to you in this last week. week. Now, now, I know the I Christian thing, because we're, we're, we're here, is, is maybe, maybe you want to write down something about Jesus. If that's the case, then please feel free to do so. Or if maybe your spouse is sitting next to you and he has gone to an argument. So to gain some good points, you're like, well, let me put something nice about them. And kind of, hey, hey, it's all you, babe. 
But put but down, down legit, legit, whatever's, whatever's in your, in your heart, heart, put that, put that down. down. Put that, put that down. down. I'm not going to come and check. check. I'm not going to say, say less wrong, less wrong less, you know, incorrect. You know, incorrect. Just, put, Just it down. put it down. The other thing the I, want I want you to do is, is if you have a Bible, Bible uh, please, uh, please, please open, open it up to the up Book of Lamentations. I love going to that book, but some of us have never heard of that book before. So you may have to go to this thing that somebody really smart put in called a table of contents, and you'll have to find what page that is. I would tell you what page mine is, but it's totally different than whatever yours is. So go ahead and go through there. It's somewhere like towards the beginning. But like, but in, like the in the beginning, middle, middle, middle section. section. So, so um, I will try, try to guide you, you but it's, it's, it's way, way too way complicated, too and you'll probably get lost, lost like me. me. So the best bet is to open, open that up and write down, down the one good thing. thing. I want you I want to write down, down that one good thing. thing. You can you feel can free if you would like. like. I'm going to give you guys about 30 seconds. Turn on and share it with somebody nearby. Tell them just what great thing has happened to you this last week. Um, um, share it share because, because I feel, I feel like, like, and I've told I, you guys before, before in the past, past I, feel I feel like we live in a Yelp, Yelp society. society. We live in a society that is way too easy to find the negative, to find the sad, to find, you know, just, just the bad, bad things of our things week. Of our week. Um, sometimes, sometimes we really, we really have, to have to dig into our wheelhouse to, to try to find, find something, something that was sort of positive, positive. Uh, or something, uh, or something that, that we can put a positive, positive spin on. So just, so just share, share your positive, your positive thing, with thing with somebody nearby while you're, while you're looking for the Book of Lamentations, of Lamentations and I'm going to jump in and, 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 interrupt, and you interrupt you in just, in just a, second. a second. So feel free to do so. Sir, I don't know who you are, but because nobody else is talking, I'll tell you the great thing of my week. You know what? I just had a peppermint mocha frappuccino, and it is—it was amazing, man. I mean, it wasn't as great as their pumpkin spice frappuccino, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That was my great thing. What about you? What was your great thing? Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a good, a good four-legged four friend, friend is hard, hard to find, to find sometimes, sometimes, man. I like that. that. So, guys, while we sh- while we share these things, things I want to share, share something, something with you that, that I thought was super, super cool. cool. Um, um, I, heard I heard this story, story and then and we're then gonna we're gonna, gonna jump, jump into, into the message. There's a comedian out there. His name is Dave Chappelle. You might have heard of him. Right now, he's really big in the news for stuff. I won't get into all that stuff. But he told this really cool story because uh, way back when he had this hit TV show, um, everyone thought he was crazy because he walked away from a lot of money, and everyone thought he was having like a mental breakdown and things like that. But he was like, no, my my integrity, my dignity is worth. Way more, way more than whatever, whatever money they want to offer me. So he walked away and everyone was like, like you're crazy, you're crazy. crazy. But then he but told, then he told uh, this uh, really interesting story about why he came to that. that. And, and, and I think I it think really applies, applies to us. us. He, he says, says, you know, you know um, um, there is there these, these, these uh, uh, baboons, baboons in the in desert. desert. And what, and what happens, happens is these Bushmen... When they're, they're, when they're when thirsty, they're but they can't, they can't find, a, find a, a, a water source, source what, they, what do they do is they find, they find out that baboons, baboons really like salt, salt licks. licks. So they, so they go and they, 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 they bury or they hide the salt lick inside of this area that the baboon, baboon can put his arm in. And once, and once he, grabs he grabs it, it he can't pull it out. So he gets stuck. He can't let go. And he doesn't realize that he just lets go of the salt lick that he can pull his arm back out because he's so ingrained to holding on to that salt lick, he just doesn't want to pull himself out. So eventually what happens, what happens is they, is they capture, capture that baboon, that baboon and they give him the salt lick as a reward, reward but because, because it's a salt lick, the baboon, baboon gets super, super thirsty, thirsty, super thirsty. thirsty. So, what so what happens is they eventually let that baboon, baboon go, go, and that and baboon, baboon runs, runs to its water, water source. source. So, now so now guess what? Now, 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 now the Bushmen know, know exactly where to go to get water. And I think how awesome is that? Except for the fact that we have an enemy who's going to be looking at every move. And whatever it is, is, once we let go and and once we're free to go go run, wherever it is that we go go to run to our our source of nourishment, nourishment, that enemy enemy is going to look look and is going to use use that against us. us. And the reason why he's going to use that against us is one, because not only has he been around for a while, so he knows every trick of the trade, but two, because he knows that if that source is something that brings us to light, it can either be used as a tool to help us or as a tool to hurt us. And I want to tell, tell you this morning, morning that we have an almighty, almighty Father, Father who, wants who wants to help, to help us and, help, and wants, wants to help to keep us from that. From that. But, but I'd be naive, naive and I'd be a liar, liar to say, say that. that. Not, not if, if bad times, times come, come, but when, when bad times come. come. Some of us are just, are just like, like that monkey. That monkey. We, we run, run to that, that one source that we know is just going to give us that temporary nourishment. And God says, what happens if you give me a try? 
What happens what is happens rather than if you have a bad day to jump on social media, media to go to yell, yell at somebody, somebody to take it out on somebody, somebody who doesn't deserve, deserve it, what happens, what happens if, if you come to, come me? to me? And while a lot of us know that that's know what that we're that's supposed to do, if I can be honest, that's not always the first thing that I do. We're going to read this book of Lamentations, and the book of Lamentations is actually written as a funeral song because we find ourselves in this time where Jesus' people and Jesus' city, city, the city, the city, that, was city that was dedicated to, they, they have a temple, they have, temple, they have priests, they have priest, everything, everything worshiping worship Jesus, and because, because nobody wanted to pay attention to what God was trying, trying to say to them, they found they themselves in just this just pit, of pit of despair. despair. Just this, this overwhelming, overwhelming sadness. sadness. So if you, so if you ever get a chance and you don't really want to feel just down and sad, read the Book of Lamentations, it's really good. The first two chapters, oh man, they are tearjerkers. But even, but in, even the midst, in the midst, even in, even the, midst in the midst of just, of just this, this sad, sad depressing, depressing time, time, God says God you have says two, you ways, two ways you can, you react. can react. You can react, you can react with, just with just anger, anger and, sadness, and sadness, which is, which normal, is normal, or somehow, or somehow you can you find, can hope, find and hope and joy. And in that, and in that sadness, sadness, that's the last thing you want to look for, but ironically enough, in that sadness, that's probably the first thing you need to go to. So we're going to so jump we're into the, jump book, in of the book of Lamentations. And I love this I love part, this because, part because, because up to this up point, point, like I said, like everything, I said, everything was, just was just sad, depressing. depressing. But then there's, but this, there's this little, little bit of joy and hope that I love. That I love. We're going to find ourselves at verse, verse 21. 21. Here we Here go. Here we go. Seen them lying, lying in the streets. In the streets. Oh, actually, no, I'm in the wrong chapter. There you go. Yeah, I did have a bookmark. I just read the wrong side. Okay, here we go. Actually, we're going to start at verse, verse uh, 19. 19. The thought of, the thought my, of suffering my suffering and homelessness, homelessness is bitter beyond, beyond words. words. I, will I will never forget the awful, awful time as I grieve over, over my loss. loss. Verse, 21. verse 21. Yet, Yet I, still I still dare to hope, to hope when, I remember, when I remember this. this. The, faithful the faithful love of the Lord, of the Lord never ends. ends. I'm going to read that again because somebody, somebody needs to hear that this morning. morning. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies, mercies begin, begin afresh, afresh each, each morning. morning. I say to I myself, say myself, the Lord is my inheritance. inheritance. Therefore, Therefore, I will hope, hope in, in him. him. The Lord the is good to, these, to, these, to those who depend, who depend on, on him, him, to those who, who search, who search for, him. for him. So it is so it good, is good to, wait to wait quietly for salvation, for salvation from, the from the Lord. Lord. And it is and it good is for good people to submit at an early age to the yoke of his discipline. Let them sit alone in silence beneath the Lord's demands. Let them, Let them lie down, down in, the, in dust, the dust, for there may there be may hope, hope at last. Let them, Let them turn the other cheek to those who strike them, them and, accept and accept the insults, insults of, their of their enemies. enemies. For, no for no one is one abandoned, abandoned by the Lord, by the Lord forever. forever. Though, he, Though brings he brings grief, grief he, also he also shows, shows compassion because, because of the greatness of his unfailing love. love. For he for does he not enjoy hurting people or causing sorrow. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Father, first and foremost, foremost, I just thank you. you. I thank you for this this awesome people that we have here this morning. morning. I thank you for this amazing amazing text that you brought brought into my heart heart to bring to to these these awesome awesome people. people. But Lord, more importantly, I just thank you for being an amazing Father. I ask, Lord, that you come in this morning and just flood our hearts. Lord, if there's anybody here who's just in sorrow and pain, let them know two things. One, that you are always there for them. And two, that even in that sorrow and pain, that there is something to hope for. But there is something, there is something to, hope to hope in, in. and that is and that you and what you've done and what you, done, what you, what you want, want to do. So Lord, I so just, thank just thank you for everything, everything that you've done, everything that you're doing, everything that you, doing, everything that you will do, and I just and ask, I just ask that you come and just fill this place. place. May you, May you only, only be the only one, only one that gets, that gets any, any of the praise because you're the only one that deserves it. In your name. Amen. So we're going to fill in the first blank right up here. It's going to say, get ready and stretch your arms out because it's going to be a lot. True faith and hope is realizing God is all we need. Before, Before he's, he's all, all we, we got. got. But he's but willing, he's willing to, work to work in either, either situation. situation. Again, Again, true faith, faith and hope is realizing God, God is all we need. need. Before, Before he's, he's all we got. got. But he's but willing, he's to, willing work to work in either, either situation. situation. I, remember I remember a really, a really, really great pastor, pastor once told, told me of all. Of, all of, I, I said I that Mario looked up. No, I'm not talking about you, Mario. I love you, but no, not you, Mario. He told me. It's funny, it's funny because, because sometimes, sometimes when you hit rock, you hit rock bottom, bottom, you don't, you don't realize, realize God is all you need when he's all you, all you have. have. 
And the sad, and the sad thing, thing is that the whole time, time God's, God's yelling, yelling at us saying, saying, it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be that, that way. way. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be that, that way. way. Stop. 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 I was thinking about uh, when, uh, I was when, playing, when I was playing, playing when I used to hang out with the middle schoolers and we would play Uno. And I would go and I would look at some of their cards and stuff. Not because I was cheating because I wasn't in the round. But I would look and I would tell them, do you know how to use this card? Well, use, well, that, use card. that card. Like, don't like, keep picking cards, cards up. Use, use that, that card. Put it down. down. Like, don't like, you know the rules of the game? game? Come, on, Come on, do, do something. something. I, think I think how often does God probably stand up there, up there doing, doing the same thing to me? Don't you, don't you know, know the rules? Like, you get up there you talk to people all the time. It's in the book. What are you doing? Why are you allowing all this to happen to you? Why are you getting so upset when you've seen what I've done in the past? When you know what I'm capable of doing? When you've, when seen, you've all seen all the other, other times, times and worse situations, situations that I've pulled you out of the fire. fire. Why are you Why having, you such, having a such a little faith, faith in me now? now? I, think I think it's because, because that's, that's natural. natural. I mean, if I mean, we're out in the middle of the ocean, ocean and we're drowning, we're drowning the, last the last thing we're going to do is we're going to sit there and pray. pray. I mean, we I mean, may we pray, pray as we're like struggling to try to stay afloat. The funny thing is, though, is that God, he says, well, before you get into a situation where you're just drowning, let me teach you how to build up that endurance and how to swim. You may, you may think, think you know, you how, know to how to swim, swim but let's, well, let's practice, practice together. together. So if you find, if you find yourself, yourself in a situation, in a situation you're going you're you're to need to have a lot of knowledge and a lot of muscle, muscle to, get to get through it. it. But don't but worry, because you're not going to have to get through it alone. Because while you're drowning in that water, we have a God that says, hey, guess what? I can walk on water. We can do it together. You don't have to do it by yourself. But the world, the world tells, tells us, you, us need you need to suck it up. up. You need you to fix need to your fix problems. problems. You, you need to, you, you need to, you need to. I tell people that's, that's the, the opera gospel. gospel. When you make everything, you make everything about, about me, 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 me. Don't do don't that. Do that. God says, no, it's not about you. This book is not about you. That life that you have is not about you. Those gifts that you have, it's not about you. It's about praising me. You get to use them. They're at your disposal. But just don't forget who gave them to you because I have a purpose for them. See, when See, you're in the midst and when you're in the sorrow and when you're just you're down, just in, down the dumps, in the dumps, God says, I understand, I understand that. that. I was there, I was too. there too. And funny, and funny enough, enough, while you, while you think that I'm not there with you, I am. I know, I know what you're going through. And while, while we may, we may oh, I, 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 while we, while we may be willing to try to do both sides, God says, you know what? Regardless of what you choose, I'm going to be there for you. Let's walk together. If he was a he god who flip flops, then he would have turned, turned his back, back the moment, the moment he, saw he saw Peter and said, I didn't forget what you did when you denied me those three times. times. He may he come in and slap, slap Thomas, Thomas on the back of the head and says, says why are you doubting me, bro? Like, you didn't see all the things that I do? And now you're doubting if I really came back to life? God's in here, and I'm hoping that somewhere in somebody's heart right now, when we feel like all hope is lost, he's tapping me on the shoulder and says, don't forget what I've done. Just in case you forgot what I've done, don't forget what I've done. So whatever you're going through right now, we'll get through it together. Doesn't look like it, but we'll get through it together. Fill in the blank number two is this. Praying isn't for God to know what's going on. It's so we can remember he knows what's going on. If we really believe that God is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-spiritual, omnipotent, that we, that we cannot surprise, surprise God. God. I said this, I said this before, before too. too. Funny, Funny enough, enough, while we while don't need to use, use those prayer cards, cards that we, that we have on the table to write, to write down, down our prayer because God knows God in our heart, heart. He, wants he wants to tell us, wait a minute, do you have enough faith in me to write down those prayers? You're coming Sunday saying that you believe, that you believe in all the power that I can do. How about you believe that people around you I've sent to pray on your behalf? Why do you think it's just all up to you? Get out of that mentality. Because when it's when all, it's up, all to up to you, you can you imagine, imagine being one of the disciples sitting in that jail cell? Because most of the disciples, they got arrested, they got beaten, they got flogged. Then they're inside of And it's not like, I mean, take it from somebody who knows. The jails that we have now aren't glorious. But back then, they were pretty much dungeons. And I think, imagine how the gospel would have been a little bit more different. Imagine how Acts would have rolled out a little bit differently. Had it said, then the disciples sat in the jail after talking about Jesus. Just desolate, just desolate and sad. sad. Just pathetic just and not wanting to do anything. Do anything. Imagine how, how different, different the gospel would have sounded. sounded. How, different how different the Bible, the Bible would have ended, ended up. But we see we over see and over again, over again it says the disciples were in there and they were singing, singing praises, praises to, God. to God. 
not just because they knew that they had it back, but because they have things to praise God about. So even in the midst of sadness and darkness, there are things that they knew that they could pray and praise God about. And I tell you right now, Vine Christian Fellowship, even in the midst of your own personal darkness, if you really think about it, you shouldn't have to go like deep into your bag to pull out a good time. You shouldn't have to go deep into your bag to pull out something to be appreciative or happy to God about. It's there. It's there. It's just that sometimes, just sometimes we put up the put world up the blinders, blinders and we don't want to see it. I don't know about, don't know about you, but the last, last time, time, the last thing I want when I'm in a bad mood is for someone to tell me how I can fix my bad mood. I don't want it. I don't want it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I, and I, I do the same thing to my wife. Whenever she's sad or she's like, I have this problem, I have this issue. She doesn't need me to fix it. Usually she already has the solution, the outcome of what's going to happen down the street in a week from now. But I want to come in like Superman and try to fix it. And I said, whoa, whoa, calm down. Why is it that Why I'm worried about fixing it rather than giving it to God? Because if, if I truly, truly know how to, know fix, how to it, fix it, then I'll he'll do is confirm it. it. And if I, and don't, if I don't, then hopefully, hopefully all he'll, he'll do is give me a better path to go on. Because going, going by Ryan's, Ryan's rules, rules don't always, don't always work, work out very well. And I don't say that to worry you because I'm a decision maker here at church. But I'm just saying, being able to follow God's plan is not going to always be easy. It's not going to always be the option that we want. But he promises, he promises us, and us, I promise you this morning, because I heard it in a book that I read one time, that he's going to be faithful, and his love is going to be unfailing, as long as we follow and go to him. He says, you can be upset, you can be mad, you can be bitter, you can be sorrowful, but are you taking it out there, or are you taking it to him? So if you're not taking it to him, out there, they have momentary things to fill you, to satisfy you, but in the end, it's going to be worthless. In fact, if, if anybody, anybody here is old enough, enough to remember, to remember that, movie, that Hook, movie Hook, um, I, I, I don't like that movie. I love Peter Pan, I don't like the movie Hook. Hook. But there's a, there's scene, a scene where they're all, where they're all sitting, sitting at a feast, at a feast. And, Peter and Peter Pan is looking, is looking and he's like, like why, why is there, is there no, no food in the bowl? And somebody says, Peter, use your imagination. And he closes his eyes and he opens it up and there's a huge feast. And so they start grabbing all the food and they start eating it. And it's funny because they, they go back, back and forth between, between reality and imagination. And, imagination. and so at some, at some point in reality, they're just going to do this. And there's, and there's nothing, nothing in their hands. hands. But in their and minds, they're like, man, I'm, I'm getting full. full. This, this is like, like the best, best meal ever. ever. And I think, and I think God, God doesn't, doesn't want us to try to manufacture something fake. He wants to give us something real. So that way when we're starving for something, when we just need that nourishment, he says, I got you. It may be manna. You may be looking at it like, what's that? But I got you. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to give you that daily daily bread bread that you ask me to give you every day. day. Here's the third fill in the blank. blank. And this is what some people need to know because because sometimes sometimes we want to... Sometimes sometimes we take take glory glory away away from God God and say, well, what a funny coincidence. And God's like, well, no, that was me. I did that for you. But sometimes we need to remember that sometimes tests are tests. But sometimes, sometimes bad circumstances, bad circumstances, they're just circumstances. circumstances. Sometimes we want to shake our hands, hands at God, God and say, God, why, God, would, you why would you do this? this? Why have why you abandoned me? me? Why have you done A, B, and C? And we don't want to take that 30, 30 seconds, seconds to think, wait a, wait a minute. minute. Was that was God or was that my decisions that got me to this place? Now I need God to get me out. I find myself more in category B, personally. Sometimes, sometimes circumstances, circumstances are just, are just circumstances, circumstances, and sometimes, sometimes tests, tests are tests. tests. But, the but the funny thing is, is that God wants to be involved, involved in every single part of that. Part of that. Every, every part of that, part God, of that says, God says, let me be involved. Be involved. At your highs and your lows. It's really great. Really great. I mean, the last, I mean, the last few, weeks, few weeks, Mario has Mario's done an amazing, done an amazing job, job reminding, reminding us to be, to be you know, not you know, just not thankful in the great times, times and not just and thankful in the mundane times, times, and it's really easy to be like, well, there's nothing going great, so I'd have to praise God for anything. When something when great something happens, great, then, I'll, then I'll give him an alley you. you. But what about those, what about hard, those times? hard times? What about those hard times? Are we building up endurance? Are we building up? Are we doing like the like a Christian cam? Are we building up hydration to get us through those long stints where maybe we can't find water anywhere? And God says just a little bit further. Just trust me. A little bit further, we can get there. Imagine how many times we've given up on something. We're like, God, it's just worth it. And God says, God but says, if you would have held, held on just this, this much, this much a little bit, a little longer. bit longer. We see that not just in our lives, lives but, but look at the book. The book, the book we hear the about, Israelites. Israelites. They get out of, they they get get out out of, of 
years and years and years of oppression and slavery. And the moment that they get out of the desert, the first thing they do is complain. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink. You buy it out of it. But do you trust me? If you trust me, that's what's going to help us get through. I think about in 1 Corinthians 13, Paul says of the three things that are mighty in this world. It's faith, hope, and love. But sadly, sadly, when we hit our, we darkest, hit our darkest times, times I, can I can at least speak for speak myself, myself, the first three first things that are attacked, that are, attacked are, faith, are faith, are my hope, my hope and my love. And my love. I don't, I don't want to deal with anybody. with anybody. I want to I shake want to my fist to God and says, why, why, why are you letting this happen? This happen? I'm never going to get past it. it. God says, I got you. I got you. Faith, hope, and love. But like I said like earlier, we also have an enemy who's like, like, oh, that's the oh, that's three the strongest, strongest pillars, pillars of, your fate, of, of who, who you are. Who you are. Okay. okay, okay. They guess what I'm going to do first. first. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. I go out I there go and, out I, there see and I see all the time too many places where he's won, and I want to put a stop to that. And the only way we're going to do that is go out there and be that example that God says for us to be. And the only way we can be that example is by truly living it out. That's why I always, so tell, I always people, tell people, not only do not I, only love, do Jesus I love Jesus because of what he did on the cross, but I love that he's, that he's not, a not a savior who tells us who what, tells we, what need we need to do, do and it says, now go, do, go it. do it. He's a savior he's who says, says, this is what you need to do. I did it first. I did it first, I did it first I did to show you that we can't get through it with God. Not by ourselves, but with God. Let's go The other thing the other that we thing need to make sure that we're doing, that we're doing too, too, and this doesn't and this just apply just here, but when we're, when we're out, out, out there, there it, says that it says that we need to fill our, our, our bodies and our minds with God's, with God's spirit, spirit, with his word, and things, things like that. that. The, problem the problem is, I don't know is, about, I don't you, about you, I did a lot, did a lot of filling of knowledge when I was in high school, especially during like U.S. history. I could parrot that thing all day long. But now you throw an exam in front of me, I would fail it right away. I was really good at like... Retaining information for short term and then spitting it back out. But God says, no, you need to make sure that my word is going into you, is changing you and coming back out. Because that's going to be the true sign that something's working. If all you did was have a pack of seeds and says, well, this will eventually go into a plant. I'll be like, well, I believe you, but how about you go plant it first so we can see it. So make sure that when we're absorbing God's word, when we're trying to fill ourselves, that it's not just coming into us, but it's also flowing out. Because when we change, when things change, it goes from being, rather than, God, why have you done this to me? Why are these things happening to me? How am I going to get through this? It starts to change into, God, what are we going to do? How are you going to help me out of this? He says, I'm going to send you my spirit to be your counselor and to be your guide. Well, why wouldn't you use that spirit? In the hard, in the hard times. times. Why are we, Why forgetting, are we forgetting that, forgetting that kind, of kind of pushing it to the it side? side well, I got, well, I got this done. done. And almost and be almost like, be like you, got you got a flat tire. tire. You're like, well, that's like, well, spare, spare tire, tire in the back. back. No, we no, don't. We we'll just we'll wait for AAA, AAA to come. To come. And then we'll get towed, and then we'll get a new car, then we'll get a new tire, things like that. Well, no, we need to get patched up, but we can still make it to the next destination. Don't forget that I'm here to help you out. God's telling God's us telling that us every single day, day. Not, just not just on a Sunday morning, Sunday morning. not just on not an, just Easter an Easter or on a Christmas. Christmas. God's telling God's us every day. every day. We can do, we it, can together. do it together. You don't have you to don't do, have it, to by do it by yourself. Here we go. Here we go. Verse, Verse number, number four. Uh, uh, fill in the blank number, number four. I'm flying through these, dude. God doesn't need you to manufacture fake joy. He wants to help you create it. I don't... I, I don't know uh, if I don't anybody, anybody here, here remembers. Remember, remember, I, 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 I do know, I think I know Mickey will remember because she was super awesome, awesome about it. About it. Um, um, a long, long time, time ago, ago, about two, about two years, years ago, ago, I did this, I did this message, message all about Where is Waldo. Waldo. If you're not familiar, you're not familiar with, with the book Where is Waldo, 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 it stars this guy, this guy in, a, in a red and white knit cap and glasses. And the whole point of the book is that he hides throughout the pages in different areas. And the funny thing is that he hides and they put up, the illustrators put up a whole bunch of things all, all over the place, over the place to, distract to distract you from actually, from actually finding, finding Waldo. Waldo. He puts a lot of things that look like Waldo. He puts a lot of things that like have the same coloring as Waldo. And so, and so it's, it's funny because I remember sitting as a kid trying to find him and be like, oh, there he is. Oh, that wasn't him. Oh, there he is. No, that wasn't him. Oh, there he is. No, that wasn't him either. And the funny thing is, now looking back at an adult, 
As a kid, I was like, let me find them right away. Let me find them as an adult. I like to look at the pages. And I laugh at some of the things that they put in there. Like, this is like, really, this is really silly. silly. This, this was super, super smart. smart. Wow, what wow, a great, what a like, great red like red herring, like, like all, these, all things. these things. And I think, what, what if we started doing, doing that with our life? life? At the very At beginning, the very I, beginning said, I said, think about, think about one, one great thing, thing that's happened to you this last week. Last week. Now imagine if that one great thing was the last great thing that happened to you for a week, or a month, or months, or a year. At some point, you would hold on to it as tight as you could. But then, but then, I think something, I think something in, the in the back of your mind will trigger, trigger and be like, well, around, well, around that, that, and you almost spider web out. out. And you start thinking you start about other great things that are things connected, that are connected to, that to that one great, great thing that you're thinking, thinking about. And I think God I think wants God us to do that to same, do that same thing. thing. He says, here's this awesome picture that I want you to see that I created for you. But don't miss all the other things that I've done around it, too. Because if you focus on just this thing, once it goes away, then we lose then the we joy lose of the joy everything, of everything, else, everything else, else around it. Because we didn't take the time, didn't to take time to notice. God says, take the time, so to, take notice the time to notice everything. everything. You don't have to try, to, to, try to go out there and go just, and just suck, it suck it up and put a smile, put a smile on, your on your face because that's the Christian thing to do. He tells us over and over again. Jesus was a great example of it too. There was times where Jesus was upset and he showed that he was upset. There was times that Jesus was exhausted and he just showed that he was exhausted. So God says, that's okay to do that. But how are you but getting refilled, refilled again? Are you coming back, coming to, back me, to me or are you going out, to, going the out to the world? Are you looking for, you just, looking that for just that picture that might have changed, changed or are you looking, looking at everything, everything else around? around. I've given, given you plenty of things to be excited about, to be joyful about, to be appreciative about. But if you're not taking the time to look at the big picture and you're only looking for that one thing, once that one thing is gone, then all you're doing is turning the page and trying frantically to look for the next thing. God says, that's not how I work. I want you to seek me, but I don't want you to miss all the other things that I put in there too. We gotta, we gotta hurry. I'm gonna ask I'm you guys, guys to multitask, multitask one more time. time. I need you guys to, you guys to, turn, to turn to the Gospel, to the gospel of, Matthew. of Matthew. If you don't know where, you don't the, know where the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew is, it's gonna, it's gonna be on the right, right hand, hand side. side. There's four, There's four dudes, dudes at the very end, end of the Bible who have uh, uh, Gospels named after them: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We're gonna turn to Matthew. We're gonna turn to Matthew chapter eight. This is one of my favorite stories because it just shows the power that Jesus had. And it just showed showed how much much Jesus Jesus knew that God God had a mission mission and had had a will for his life life and knew that that nothing nothing on earth earth could stop that. that. Not even even the weather. weather. Sometimes Sometimes I don't even want to go outside if it looks like it's going to sprinkle because I just don't want to get my shoes dirty. I just wash my car. But no, even in the storms, God says, I'm going to be there for you too. So just to so just give you guys, to give you guys a, li- a little bit of context, context what, happens what happens is Jesus is exhausted. exhausted. They're going around they're going doing around all these miracles, doing all these great things. These, things. these disciples, disciples were first-hand first witnesses, witnesses of just of the power, power of God, God that Jesus, that could, Jesus do. could do. They saw they Jesus saw do Jesus some amazing, amazing things. things. Then eventually, then eventually all of them pile into this boat, this boat and as they're and out on this, on this, on this body, body of water, of water it, says it says that there is a crazy, crazy storm, storm that happens, that happens and, everyone's and everyone's trying as frantically as they can to like make sure that the boat doesn't tip over, over and it doesn't like get too filled, too filled with water, with water that they don't all drown and die. And it says that Jesus is back there sleeping. Jesus is just casually sleeping. And I'm sure someone said somebody's heart, they're just like, how could Jesus sleep? Why isn't he up here helping us out? Why isn't he doing something? And eventually somebody wants to speak up and say something to Jesus, like, hey, we need some help. How could you sleep at a time like this? That's where we're going to find ourselves. Verse 21. Verse 21. I'm sorry, verse 23. Then Jesus got in the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, shouting, Lord, save us! us. We're going to drown! drown. And here's Jesus' Jesus' response. response. After they've just seen everything that he's done, done, knowing that he's going to take care of them, knowing that that he has has a message from God God that is going to take them to different places to go speak his name everywhere. And this is how he responds to them. Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got, then he up, got and up and rebuked, rebuked the winds and, wind and, and waves. And suddenly, and suddenly there was a great, was a great calm. calm. The disciples, the disciples were, amazed. were amazed. Who is this Who is man, this they, man asked. they asked. Even the, Even winds, the winds and waves, and waves obey, him. obey him. So forget, forget healing, healing the blind. The blind. Forget, forget healing the lame. Forget, forget, forget healing the sick. Forget healing the leopards. The fact that I guess he can speak to the wind was impressive enough to say, oh wow, maybe he's from another world. Maybe he's something special about him. 
But I think how, I think often, how often do we get off frantic, frantic and we get all crazy, get all crazy and we're like, what are we gonna, gonna do, do, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? And then finally, and then finally as a last, last resort, we say, God, God just help us out, please. please. And God's just like, why'd you have so little faith in me that I'm your last resort? Why wasn't I the first resort? Okay, stop. Okay, stop. And even if the storm doesn't stop, Maybe Jesus Maybe is looking Jesus at, is you, looking and at saying, you and saying, stop, stop, stop acting, so, acting crazy. so crazy. Stop being, stop so, being frantic. so frantic. Just stop, stop. Calm the Calm storm, the in, your storm in your heart. We'll get, we'll through, get this. through this. Calm, Calm down. down. He doesn't just speak to the winds and the waves. He's also, He's also speaking, to speaking to us. Calm down. Calm down. We got this. We got this. We we got this. Not you. Not you. We've got this. That brings us that to fill in the blank, number, the blank five. number five. Rather than, Rather panic, than panic, remember. Remember, remember the things remember that, the he's, things pulled that he's pulled of. you out of. Remember the times remember that, he's, that he's, come he's come through. Remember the times remember that, that he's helped, he's helped other, other people, people in your life that you were first-hand witnesses to see. Those are those things that are going to help build that foundation. Those are the things that are going to help build up your endurance. Those are the things that are going to help you get through those hard times. Because again, I say to you, it's not if they come, it's when they come. And when they come, you don't want to be in the middle of the storm hoping that you prepared better. Because while God's going to be in it with you, he's going to say, man, I wish you would have been more ready than you are right now. We will get through this, but this is not the way I want you to do things. I think about, I think about Jesus, Jesus, even just saying that right now, now, there's a story, there's a story about, about Jesus, Jesus going to his going best friend's friend, tomb, tomb who had been, been dead for days. And it said that Jesus, that Jesus weeped, weeped bitterly. bitterly. He saw the crowd and he weeped, weeped bitterly. bitterly. And he said it he is said not it is supposed, not to, be supposed like to be like this. And I think part and of it was that he was talking not just about, man, my friend wasn't supposed to die. What happened here? I know it's God's will, but what's going on? But I think he also thinks all this grieving and sorrow is not supposed to happen. That was not the way that God's plan started out. out. And then he does something amazing and he just says, says, hey, hey, Lazarus, Lazarus, you in the tomb, tomb? get out, get out here. Not only do we have a God who can calm the storms in our hearts and around us, but he can also raise those that we think are completely lost and out of connection with them back. So never look at a situation and don't think that God can't resurrect it and do something great with it. I think how think powerful, powerful is not just, not just the stories, stories of, well, God, I heard Jesus did this and Jesus did that. But being able to be Lazarus and say, oh, yeah, well, guess what? I was dead and he brought me back. If our testimonies aren't that of Lazarus, of I was dead in my sins and Jesus brought me back, then we need to reevaluate some of our testimonies. Because God did not come for those who have everything together. He came for those knowing that we needed help, that we needed guidance, and that we needed a savior. And he says, he says there, there, that's who that's I came, who I came for. for. Those, Those are the people, are the people whose, whose words are going to resound and bring, and bring every, every nation, nation to, me. to me. So if you so have if one of those stories and you're, and you're keeping, keeping it to yourself, yourself shame, shame on you, on go you, share, go those, share things. those things. But for anybody well, for who wrote something who wrote down, down great at the great very top of your list, if you did not thank God and go tell somebody out there and say, hey, guess what God did? I had a horrible, cruddy week, but God at least did this for me and I'm going to praise him because of it. If you're not sharing that, then shame on you as well. We need to be need sharing, to be sharing more, more, and we need to not worry about our rights and about, rights and about the rights of, rights of what we feel are going to be infringed on. We need to be posting on social media about the righteous one who came and gave us all of our rights, rights. who took away who took all, of all, of all of us. And that's my soapbox for this um, Number six is going to be this. Don't worry about the storm if Jesus is guiding you through it. Don't worry about Don't the storm that Jesus is guiding you through it. Through Turn a couple Turn of pages page to the right. This is going to be the last thing before I thing jump, off, jump this off this stage, stage up here. Up here. Verse, verse 14. 14. I'm sorry, I'm chapter, sorry 14. chapter 14. We're going to start at verse 22. 22. This is a this pretty is a famous pretty story. story. This is an exciting story. story. And funny and enough, we find ourselves in the middle of another storm. Of another crazy occurrence. Here we go. Here we go. Verse four, uh, chapter, 14, chapter 14, verse 22, verse 22 immediately, immediately after, this, after this, after Jesus, after Jesus helped, helped feed 5,000 5, 5, 5, people, people, Jesus and the disciples fed 5,000 people. people. After this, after this Jesus, insisted Jesus insisted that his, that his disciples get back, get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home. After sending them home, he went into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Is a little side note. We need to have more ups and downs like Jesus. And what I mean by ups and downs is... Jesus is a Jesus great, great practice of going up, going up, 
by himself, by himself and going to talk and communicate, communicate with, God. with God. And he knew and that he, he knew needed that he to do that because when he came when he down, he didn't want to come down as him. He wanted to come down as God's messenger. How many times do we go into God in our solitude, asking him to fill our hearts with whatever it is that he wants us to do, and then taking him out to the world? I think most of the time, some of us, at least for myself, I want to go out there and take God's word, but I didn't even check in with him to see if he had something new to put in there. Make sure that we're checking, sure that we're in, checking with him, in with him and then going, and out. going out. It's what Jesus it's what did, Jesus so that's what we so have, so to, do we have to do if we're calling ourselves Christians. Christians. Meanwhile, the disciples, Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting, were fighting heavy waves. Heavy waves. About, About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus said to them at once, don't be afraid. Take courage, I am here. Then Peter, then Peter called them, called them Lord, if it's Lord, really, if it's you, really you, you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. On the water. Yes. yes, come, Jesus, come said. Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on water towards Jesus. Towards Jesus. Jesus. But when he saw so the, he saw strong, the strong, strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Save me Lord, he Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately Jesus reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, why do you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped and the disciples worshipped him. You really are, you the, really son are the son of God, they exclaimed. They exclaimed. You know, I'm sure, you know, I'm somewhere, sure in somewhere in heaven, in heaven well, even well, just even immediately just after, immediately that, after situation, that situation, Peter's probably Peter's like, oh, probably man, like, oh man, I got like two or three steps, steps out there. How awesome. Like, awesome. Like, I wonder if I would have skipped, skipped out there, there he would have still kept me on the water or something like that. If only I had not looked around the storm, I would have been still on that water. But I think even though... Jesus said, Jesus yeah, said, little yeah, faith, you didn't faith. believe me. You took your you eyes, took off, your of eyes me, off of me, and that's what made you fall, fall down. down. He didn't just he say, can I just deal with the consequences? He went out and he grabbed him. He, he said, get up here. Maybe we'll try that again. I wonder how many people in that boat were just like, not in amazement of, did you guys see what Peter did? We're probably like, I had my opportunity to show just how much faith I had in Jesus, but instead I stayed in the boat. Did the storm I stayed in the boat rather than trusting Jesus Jesus. when he said, get out there on the water. water. My friends, I tell you this, we had the Lord who died on the cross, cross, who said, said, if you believe in me, me, if you're going to take my name name and believe in what I did for every single one of you, if you believe that because of my blood that was shed on that cross, I put all your sins, you don't have to stay in the boat anymore. The water's going to be a little rocky. You're going to have to go really, go really slow, slow to keep your, eyes, keep your on me, eyes on me and you can do and miraculous, can do miraculous things. things. And he's telling and every he's single telling one, every one of us this morning, this morning get, out of, get out of that boat. If you're calling yourself, you're calling a, follower, yourself a follower, get out of that, get boat. Out of that boat. Have true have faith true in what faith I'm telling you. Telling you. Truly, believe Truly believe that I will keep you afloat. You afloat. Yes, there will yes, be there will be raging waters, there will be winds, there will be things that are going to try to get your attention. And I may have to go in there and grab you out sometimes. Remind you, Remind who, I you am. who I am, but at least but you, at trusted, least you me. trusted me. So the next, so the time, next time, maybe you'll trust maybe you'll me and trust get out, me a, little out a little bit farther. And a little bit farther. And once, and once people see people us see out there walking, out there walking on the water, with, the water Jesus, with Jesus, they're going to look at the, the, feet, the dirt under their feet and say, this is not where I want to be. I want to be out there doing crazy things like these people. That's when we get to share the gospel. That's when we get to share the love of Jesus. And that's and when that's you get to when truly, you get to be, truly glorified. be glorified. It's easy, it's easy. And, we can and we can sing his praises, praises all day all long, long when things are going, things are going great. great. But it's truly when we're in dark, dark, dark places, when we are down, down on our, our luck, luck and we're still, we're praising, still praising God, God that I feel like, I feel his, like name his name is screamed, is screamed not just here not on just earth, here but, on earth to but to the heavens. Where he gets to look at us and say, that person, that person gets it. They get it, they get it. And my prayer my this prayer week is that week is whatever that storms, storms hit your guys' heart, 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 hit your guys' world, world, that he's going to look down at every single one of you and how you're acting and say, that person gets, that person gets it. it. It's dark, it's dark, but that person, that person still, gets still gets it. Still gets it. Let's, pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father first and foremost, first and foremost I, just I just thank you. I thank you for I being a Father that not just comes and lifeguards us in our stupidity, but lifeguards us even in our, especially in our courageous times. When we choose to trust you over trust ourselves and trust the world. Lord, I just Lord, ask, I just that, this ask week, that this week and those times, and those times where we struggle that we not run just, run just those temporary, temporary nourishments, nourishments, those imaginary food things, things that are going to fill us, but rather we run, run to the true, true bread of life, life, to the true to the living, living water, water, to the thing that's, that's going, going to nourish us, not just today, but forever.
So I just watch, I ask you watch over this congregation. I watch, I ask you watch over their hearts. And I just ask that you remind us of what you did, not just back on the cross, but what you want to do every single day with us. In your name we pray. Amen.